guys, today I want to introduce you to a project based on a realistic and surrealistic approach. We will combine both of them and we we'll wrap it around by expecting that the images that we will create will be able to be interpreted through five senses. Anyway, let us start. I will use my own hand as a starting point. It doesn't mean that you have to use just one hand, you can use a number of hands or maybe another object. So okay. it's very important that you will think about positioning of it. So you can place it horizontally, vertically, we can make it, for example, notice when I place my hand this way, I, will, I can even represent a tree. So there are many different ways what you can do with it. I want to create, hmm, that's my idea, that's a paint on the table. I think I want to create the effect of a wave. The drawing is not the perfect one, but I think you'll see when we place the hand, or maybe I should place my thumb. Yeah, see, like this. So, that is representation of my hand. Like this. And remember, you always have to come back and fix the parts because when you just outline it very fast, then you never get it precise. And we don't need to. That is enough for us to give us an idea what is going on here. Okay, so I got this idea that that will be my hand will represent a wave. So I have an ocean. I want to feel this, this will be the texture of the water. And how can I represent my water? So I will take the markers and I will go And I'm thinking again, with such a big wave, it must be a salt water. There will be not a lake. It's definitely salt that I want to smell in the air. Then we have yellow. I have some interesting markers. Maybe this one will be okay for the hand. Crazy. Crazy things happen. So, nail. What else can we have? So we have this ring happening. I will use a smaller marker. Which color is it? So this should be okay. That's good. And then oh, I need the green. And I need the green in the water because why it has to be only blue. I think I want to have some flowers on this beautiful hand. So maybe we we'll put the the boat. And then what can we have? We can have another boat somewhere there. Very small one. It's 
Okay, so we have a very strange image. And when we think about the senses, we think about the water, an ocean, an open water. So it's a salty water. I smell the air. I smell the salt. Then those droplets touch my skin. I almost want to feel it. See, underneath I'm going to get a little bit darker. Then I can taste what I can taste. We want to think about number of the senses that we can include here. So what we see here is the scene. Is the water moving? So maybe touching us. And you can discuss by creating this image what kind of senses this particular image evolves in us directly and indirectly. When I talk about, for example, about texture, it could be implied texture. That means the texture that is created, like for example, texture of the water is very different than of the boat, very different than of the cloud, right? And very different than of the hand that we have here. So all of it can be discussed in the class and you can have lots of fun with your students. And then the boat is on the top. How can it be that the boat is on the top? We will ask ourselves. And I think in which side, maybe the boat will go on the other side as well. As a real surrealistic painting, maybe we put another boat on this side. I think that's a very good idea. When I think about the green, I need to have a little bit more of it. Still down in the front. Good. Then, of course, this section as well. So we have two boats. This is a nice color now. Okay, and then I think that we can color the nails. See, we have a crazy image, but I think that's good that it's crazy. We don't want to have typical image. It has a surrealistic image, and then you can discuss it through the senses. What we see here, what, uh, those images evoking us, what's happening with those boats coming the way they come? And maybe I'm still thinking, no, that should be okay. Or maybe one more boat. Very good. The last part, just to apply the highlighter and the water. Maybe that's too green, so I need the blue highlighter. And that's that. You can now think about what you want to tell about this image. What this image represents. And how can you view this using the different senses. So I hope you enjoy working with me on it and now it's time for you to work on your own image that will represent, represent a surrealistic idea and then you will discuss it through the five senses. Have a good day and have a good day. Bye! I still want to add a couple more things, for example, just try it some places. And then you can think about a second octopus arm. 
so have a good day and enjoy working on your own painting bye